the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. These lessons for today are very good. They remind us of how often uh, God called for penance, that we should do penance and uh, uh, fast and abstain from uh, our sins. So these are what all these lessons are about. Today is a day of penance and uh, fast and abstinence to make reparation also for sins. In the Gospel for today, we had two, uh, two stories. One was of the tree, the tree that had no fruit on it. Every year, the master <coughs> came and looked for fruit on the tree, and there never was any fruit. It was a fruitless uh, tree. And he said, cut it down. Why, why should it be here? If it's not bringing forth fruit, it's useless. Let's just cut it down. And the, uh, his gardener said, wait, just one more year. Let's give it one more go, and uh, I'll put manure by it, and uh, we'll see if next year it brings forth fruit. And if it doesn't bring forth fruit, well, then next year we can cut it down. So we'll give one more year for this tree. And so he waited on the tree. And we know that uh, uh, our Lord is often uh, demanded, he uses the word fruit, uh, that he wants us to be fruitful, that we bring forth good fruits, uh, and that we uh, multiply the talents he has given us, that we, we use them to bring forth fruits. So it's not enough uh, to not bring forth bad fruits. Uh, bad fruits would be sins, and uh, if we brought forth bad fruits, well, we would deserve to be cast into hell forever. But to, to bring forth no fruit at all, to just uh, squander our time and not use it for the glory of God, not use it to please Him, uh, not use it to uh, gain uh, something for the kingdom of heaven, not use it to propagate uh, the kingdom of heaven on earth, well, this is to be fruitless, without fruit. And, uh, <coughs> And without fruit, uh, you still deserve to be cut down, just as those who bring forth the bad fruit. So our, our Lord wants us to uh, work out our salvation with fear and trembling, and we have to work out how are we going to bring forth fruits for the kingdom of heaven, how are we going to bring forth good works uh, for the kingdom of heaven, and do good things uh, to uh, uh, please God, to make reparation for sin, to attain the conversion <coughs> of sinners, to obtain all these blessings that our Lord wants to give us. And he does want us to give us many blessings. He wants us to be very fruitful. And he wants us to give, he gives, wants to give us the graces and uh, whatever is needed to make us uh, indeed very fruitful. Uh, but if we refuse to accept it, well, then we remain uh, sterile. We remain uh, without bringing forth anything. And we deserve to be uh, cut down, just as uh, the evil tree that brings forth the evil fruit. So there's trees that bring forth good fruit, trees that bring forth evil fruit, and there's trees that bring forth no fruit. And, uh, and only the ones that bring forth the good fruits are the ones that are pleasing to God and are fulfilling His will. So let's ask Him that we might not be idle, but that we might uh, use our time and do our duty and offer it up always for the kingdom of God, and we might try to always advance the kingdom of our Lord on earth, that uh, he may be uh, uh, loved and uh, that he uh, may receive the glory uh, that is indeed due to him. We must ask Our Lady. Our Lady is the one uh, that prevents uh, us unfruitful trees from being cut down to give us more time. She wants to give us more time. She prevents us. She's the gardener that says, no, don't cut it down yet. Let me work with this soul some more and see if it cannot bring forth fruit. So let's ask Our Lady uh, to uh, come to us and to guide us and to truly uh, make us uh, fruitful members of the Church, make us uh, uh, worthy then uh, to be pleasing to God, and uh, it's through her grace that we can have obtain this. And so we need to ask her help always, that we might indeed uh, not be sterile, but we might truly be uh, fruitful. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.